the Buddha has us ask ourselves every day. Days and nights fly past, fly past. What am I becoming right now? Of course, what you're becoming depends on what you're doing. So what are you doing right now? If right now you're trying to get the mind to be with the breath, okay, that's putting the mind in the path. That's a good use of your time. Because time just keeps flowing incessantly. It's like a water faucet, faucet that's been left open and just keeps flowing and flowing and flowing. You can't turn the faucet off, so you've got to find out ways of making good use of the water. And the water that you don't use well just gets wasted. It's the same with time. If you don't put it to good use, it just gets wasted. You can't call it back. So you want to be on top of time right now making sure you're doing something good with it. If there are unskillful qualities in the mind, don't follow them. It's a waste of your time, it's a waste of that, all that good water. You've got this human birth, you've got this opportunity to practice. Use it while you've got it. You've got to keep yourself motivated like this, because it's so easy to fall off the path, to start getting lazy and say, well, it doesn't matter if I indulge in this for a little bit and indulge in that for a little bit, and after all, it is a middle way, so you don't want to be too strict with yourself. That's the, way the, that's the middle way of the defilements, the middle way of your greed, aversion, delusion, and laziness. The middle way actually means doing things that are just right. Make sure that the mind stays on the side of what's skillful and stays away from what's unskillful. And sometimes that means just a little bit of effort, and sometimes it means a lot of effort. But you want to be up for whatever is required. So not only while you're sitting with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day, try to keep your mind in good shape. Notice where it's going, and if it's beginning to go out of bounds, bring it back. This is your safe space. Think of the image of the quail. You're in the territory where the hawk can't get you. As soon as you wander away, the hawk can come down and swoop down and get you. So try to make sure you're in the right spot, developing good qualities of the mind. And that way the water of time gets well used. <laughs>